Gödel arrived at his incompleteness theorems by studying the limitations of formal mathematical systems. He used a clever technique called arithmetization, which involved encoding mathematical statements and proofs as numbers. This allowed him to apply the system's own rules to itself, creating a self-referential statement, the Gödel sentence, that says, this statement cannot be proven. By showing that such a statement is both true and unprovable, within the system, Gödel demonstrated that no consistent system of arithmetic can prove all truths about the numbers it describes, leading to his groundbreaking conclusion, any sufficiently complex system will always have true but unprovable statements. Similarly, if we try to prove the existence of the self, we run into the same problem. We can't prove that we exist without actually presupposing our own existence. We would say things like, I know that I exist because I experience such and such phenomena. But all this does is turn the truth back in on itself because the existence of the self, much like the incompleteness theorems, cannot be traced back to itself step by step in order to prove it without actually presupposing its inherent truth, thus making it unprovable. Since mathematical proofs are demonstrations of how we can trace our way back to the truth behind a mathematical statement, the fact that some things are self-referentially true without a series of steps to prove their truth shows that the logical truths within the axiom that math describes are truly independent of our formal ways of describing things, such as math. 